Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to delete your Zeno account. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Zeno web account. Here is mine. There's one thing I'd like you to know that you cannot be able to maximize all of the features and benefits that Zeno provides if you do not create an account. And how do you create an account? Pretty much simple. All you need to do is to launch any browser of your choice. Here I'm using Chrome. In the search bar, go ahead and type zelo.com and it will take you to the official website. From the official website, uh, you need to just head over to the right corner. You're going to find the option to sign up or to join. Click on it and follow the further processes to create an account, which is self explanatory. And you can create an account manually or automatically by linking it to Google, which is pretty much the easiest. But once you've created an account successfully, it's going to take you right here into this fantastic home page. Where you can now navigate through a lot of features to have a great experience on Zeno. Now that we're going to today's stuff is how to delete your Zeno account. Oh, Zeno would be so sad to see that you are leaving. So here you go. We have buy, we have rent, we have sell, we have home loans, agent finder, management tiles, advertise, help, and then we have the profile. So if you want to delete your account, click on your profile icon and you're going to see an extended menu. Saved home, saved searches, recently viewed, your home, rent a hub, account settings, and sign up. Now go ahead and click on account settings. And it's going to open up, open you up to your account page. So here you go. So here's your profile. So go ahead and click on your profile. So here it allows you to edit your profile to whatever you want it to be so scroll all the way down until you find manage account now one of the first processes to delete your account is to unlink your account from google that's if you created an account using google just unlink to ensure that it has been detached or disconnected from google and then the next step is to manage account which is deactivate my account now let's read what it says. It says this will shut down your account but retain your information. But you won't be able to sign in again until your account is reactivated. Now, this implies that you cannot directly delete your account on Zillow, so you have to deactivate it. But then, if you want to go further to just ensure that you do want to delete your account, then move to help. So at this top right corner, move to help and it's going to take you to the help things. Just let them know that you want to delete your account and then that's just it. So. Mm. Okay. None of all of this. Privacy, please. Delete your privacy and um yeah. for the search bar, you're gonna type how to delete my punch the enter button let's see if that's a possibility okay yeah. once you delete your data you've been able to so this access to your account and be unable to How do I delete my data? No. So you can request a permanent to delete your personal data through the privacy portal here. Click on that and then request. This cannot be reversed. Once you delete your data, you've been able to retrieve any personal information related to your account. We delete data either by erasing it entirely or by re-identifying it. Meaning, we remove the part that can be used to identify you leaving the data we want the links to. So, click on that. So, here is it. Delete your data, we can get data. Sign into our privacy tools. Zillow. So here you go. You can choose to deactivate your account or to permanently delete your data and your account. Of course, which is where you want. 
and then you meet that is it this takes effect immediately and it is reversible you can always decide to reactivate your account later that's if you want to deactivate it now to permanently delete your data this and then this cannot be reversed so after you verify your mail and confirm that you want to delete your data because of the complexity of our data systems and the number of records received may take up to 45 days to complete the deletion process. Please note, you will not be able to create a new account using an existing email address for 90 days and retain a record of your request. Get more information by visiting our privacy web center. Now, if you want to follow through with the process, just go ahead and click on delete data. That's even the permanently delete your account. Click on delete data and they're going to take you to the next step by um prompting you to follow through with the next set of instructions which is self explanatory and you're not so much again so once you click on delete data that's just going to be pretty much it and then your account data your account will be deleted permanently so go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you begin to go i hope this video helped you search